get more visibility into your power systems with advanced power measurement and analysis on the 4, 5 and 6 series MSOs. The combination of the oscilloscope, analysis software and a wide range of available voltage and current probes enables you to perform automated, accurate power system measurements even if you are not a power conversion guru. For this video, I am going to be using a 4 series BMSO but the operation is identical on 5 series and 6 series MSOs. I will be using the demo board which is powered with a 12 volts AC signal to reduce safety concerns. The differential voltage probe is connected to channel 1 of the scope. The current probe is connected to channel 2. I have already deskewed the current and voltage probes to eliminate errors due to variations in probe delays. Advanced power measurements are under the power tab. Key measurements include input measurements, amplitude and timing measurements, switching measurements, magnetic measurements, output measurements and frequency response analysis. I am going to use the power quality measurement group to make measurements on the input side. These are typically made on AC line inputs but can also be applied to the AC outputs of power inverters. Note that the voltage and current sources are configured to their respective scope channels. For this example, the source type is AC with the voltage signal as a frequency reference. Power Autoset automatically sets up the oscilloscope acquisition system for optimal measurement results for all selected power measurements. The power quality measurements are optimized for line frequencies and are commonly performed at the AC line input of the power supply. They provide fast insight into the amount of power and the level of distortion at the input. Note that instantaneous power and energy math waveforms are added to the waveform view. The advanced power measurement and analysis application has automated current and voltage harmonic measurements. One can make pre-compliance measurements according to IEC 61003 3-2 and other common standards. There is a custom limits option if you wish to use your own limits. It presents up to 400 harmonics in graphical and tabular formats and lets you easily traverse through the list to get details on any individual harmonic. The instantaneous inrush current is often measured to verify that a power supply's input capacitor's charging current does not exceed the maximum current rating for the capacitor or any other components in the input path. The accurate calculation and evaluation of energy loss in power supplies have become even more critical with the drive toward higher efficiency and reliability. I am measuring VDS across the switching MOSFET and the drain current. The software can measure turn-on loss, turn-off loss and conduction loss. To get an overview of the switching loss for all captured cycles, you can use the trajectory plot. It automatically plots the voltage across the switching versus current through the switch during turn on and turn off, letting you judge the range of switching loss for all cycles at a glance. Inductors and transformers are used as energy storage devices in both switch mode and linear power supplies. Given their important role, it is essential to characterize magnetic components to determine the stability and overall efficiency of the power supply. The magnetic property measurement uses voltage and current to compute magnetic flux density, magnetic field intensity strength and various loss components including hysteresis loss and total loss. The measurement also supports multiple transformer secondaries based on the scope channel count. BH plots are often used to verify the saturation of the magnetic elements in a switching supply and provide a measure of the energy lost per cycle in a unit volume of core material. In this power supply, the inductor isn't being driven very hard. The advanced power measurements and analysis software measures the voltage across the magnetic element and the current flowing through it 
and plots B versus H. Efficiency is a critical differentiator in today's competitive environment. The advanced power measurements and analysis software lets you easily measure your product's power conversion efficiency, whether your converter is AC to DC, AC to AC, DC to DC or DC to AC. The software allows you to test efficiency on multiple outputs at once and you can configure each output independently. The Control Loop Response Analysis or Bode Plots, Power Supply Rejection Ratio and Impedance Measurements help to ensure stable, low-noise power supply designs. The Power Analysis software enables frequency response analysis on the 4, 5 and 6 series scopes. Taking advantage of the optional, built-in or external arbitrary or function generators. Bode plots and gain or phase margin measurements enable designers to determine the stability of a power supply control loop. For this example, I'll use the scope's built-in function generator. The configuration allows the user to set start and stop frequencies, select constant or variable amplitude profiles, impedance and points per decade for better plot rendering. The gain and phase margin help determine the stability of your power supply. Impedance analysis enables two-port impedance measurements of power distribution networks using the oscilloscope. You can see the impedance with three peaks, group delay and phase response. For measurements on three-phase inverters, motors and drives, a three-phase power analysis package is available. A digital power management application is available for power integrity analysis on power rails. With advanced power measurement and analysis on your 4, 5 and 6 series MSO, you can perform detailed AC and DC power measurements, as well as switching, magnetic and stability analysis. The software makes it easy to get accurate, repeatable results.